Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Hello, Kiran. Yes, I need you to cancel our appointments. I honestly do not think I can make it. But, sir, the agents from Benjus, they are waiting already. I know, but I'm having car troubles. As I speak with you right now, I'm parked by the roadside. I don't know what to do. I'm probably going to call an engineer to look at this, and that's going to take time, okay? So maybe you should just reschedule. Sir, why don't you pick up a car? Or better still, I can come wherever you are and pick you up. Can not listen to me? Just do as I've said. Cancel our appointments. Tell them to come see me tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. I need to get this fixed. Okay, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Yes, Alex speaking. Um, my car just packed up. Yeah, this morning. I'm, as I speak with you, I'm, I'm packed by the side of the road. I, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. Sixth Avenue. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be expecting you. Yeah. Of course, I'll, I'll put for you here. Yeah, please, please make it quick, okay? Thank you. Here you go. You don't have to do this, my child. You need it more than I do. I know you have buried so many of your loved ones, and more you will do. But if you are tired of burying them, you have to find a solution to your predicaments. And most importantly, you have to trace your roots. Thank you.
So now that you're here, can I order for something? I thought this was uh, <clears throat> some kind of business meeting that um, needed my urgent attention. Hell no. Not in your mood. See, I know with your condition right now, you cannot attend to business meetings or anything business. That is why I shifted all your business appointments for the next two weeks. All right, good. So, um, you mind telling me what I'm doing here? Well, let's just say the boss and his secretary having drinks, taking time out, relaxing. Is there anything wrong with that? Oh, Fina, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. You know how I operate. You know I don't walk this way. You, you've been with me for some time. You know there is no way I'm going to be seated here doing this with you, considering everything that has happened. Exactly, Alex. That is why I invited you out here. See, Alex, it's high time you put memories behind you and move on. Look forward to latter glories. What glories are there to look forward to? When you strive so hard as a man to, to make something out of your life to succeed, and then. That happens and you don't have a single family member of your own. So live that life with. Do you know that for every time I have tried having someone in my life, I lost the person. How does that make me feel? It's something that deals with us mortals and there's nothing we can do about it, no matter how much money you have. We just sit down there and watch helplessly. But it doesn't have to stop you. You have to live your life. There you go again. I had a wonderful philosophy about death, yeah? Truth is I've heard a couple of these things from my friends and some close colleagues, but it's hard to say I... I'm beginning to get used to it. The thing is, every time I think about this, something keeps telling me that maybe someone or some group of people is behind it. But I know one thing for sure that I will get to the bottom of this, son. It's all right. I, I appreciate your concern. I want to say thanks for being assured that you're leaving so far. I mean, I've been been away from work and you've been standing in for me but I'll need you to do me more for you. I'll be out of town for a couple of days. Okay, so I'll need you to stand in some more. Alright? Okay. Keep me updated when you need to and I'll also be in touch. Why are you going to? Never mind. I'll, I'll be fine. You sure? I'll be fine. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> Once again? Take care of things and then keep me updated when it's necessary. Alright, and I'll also be in touch. To your problem does not lie on a bottle of alcohol. Or does it lie, mother? It lies in the hands of God. In all things, we should give thanks to hey, God. Please, mother. Please. Can you just hold it? Because I'm really sick and tired of your kind of God taking glory for everything that I've been passing through. You know, before you stepped in here, I was thinking of paying you a visit, but now that you're here, let me ask you. Are you sure? I'm very sure that you and my father have not sold your hands, maybe sometime in the past, some form of iniquity, because I don't understand why I should live like this. How dare you say such a word? You know I am a dedicated child of God. It's just a misfortune. Oh, please, mom. Please, on the contrary, mother, I beg to disagree because I am the one who is directly involved here. I have decided to face my fears headlong, which is the unseen things responsible for this miserable life that I'm living. And just so you know, I've also decided to travel. Okay, I'll be away for one week. 
Where and what for? Mom, please just forget about my destination. And the reason for my trip is the quest for our predicament in this family. Because I can't keep living this way. Alex, you will do no such thing. Really? Watch me, Mom. You're working out on me! Alex, you're working out on me! Please, I would, I would, I would need a ride to, to Ichele, hoping to get there before sunset. The solution to your problem can never be found in Ichele. What? Who are you? Oh, have you forgotten me so soon? What are you doing here? supposed to be on the road picking passengers and dropping them off what are you doing here exactly what i am doing here i am the rider and you are my passenger but unfortunately the solution to your problem can never be found in each other what like you're some you're a prophet of, of some sort you ask an interesting question but i have no answer to your question now please Go back home. I will answer you some other day. Listen, mister, I, I do not know how to address you, but please, it is very important I get to Ichele before sunset. A friend of mine told me that when I get there, I will meet some soothsayer who would tell me exactly what the problem is as regards all the misfortunes that has suddenly befallen me. But really, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but can I get the ride? I know you have made up your mind to find a solution to your problem. Every water, both dirty and clean, reflects a man's image. Sir. Um, I'm sorry I'm going to have to ask you again. Are you... Because before now I've heard I've heard about prophets, but I've never been opportunity to, to meet anyone. But please, if you really are a prophet, can you, can you help me with my problem? Tell me what the problem is. I am neither of them, but a victim of circumstance like you. I don't know when a man has a problem like this, he will go far to seek for solution to his problems. But I will help you as much as you will help me. Me? Help you? How, how is that possible? Never mind. Like I told you earlier, Ezra and Elficelli will add to your problem instead of providing solutions. Ask your mother the circumstance surrounding your bed. The circumstance. Yes, ask your mother this question. If she truly loves you, she will tell you the truth. Well, I want to cross over to the other side of the river. And in case you want to see me again, morning, noon, or midnight, you will find me here. Bye-bye.
Did you say he didn't come to the office at all today? No, ma, he didn't come at all. I've been trying to get hold of him on the phone, and he's still switched off. I've tried all his numbers, no one is going through. Be, you got us all worried. What happened to your phones? How was work today, Fido? Work is fine, but we have a lot of unattended files. I know. See me at home tomorrow. I need to be alone with my mother. Okay, sir. What's that question I see in your eyes? I need you, Mom, to tell me the truth about my birth. Growing up, I've always had a certain notion surrounding my birth. Mother, I need you to tell me everything. What happened? Before, during, and after my birth. What sort of question is that? And who have you been listening to? I haven't been listening to anyone, Mom. I'm a full grown man now. And I deserve every detail surrounding the circumstances of my birth. Mother, is that too much to ask? There is nothing there for you to know. I got married like every other woman should. I conceived. After nine months, like every other woman. And I give birth to you, like a pregnant woman should. There's nothing that you need to know. You are lying to me, mother. You are lying to me. Look at you, mom. It is so obvious that there is something you're hiding. You, you can't even look at me. Mother. I am an adult now and I need to know the truth surrounding my birth. Mom, if you truly love me like you claim you do, this is the time to prove it. Tell me the truth. Time to think about this one, eh? It's all right. I'll let you be for now. Good night. God. My God. I've been listening to. I apologize for my absence. I know that it um, must mean a lot of work for you. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm, I'm sorry for all the stress I must have caused you. It's okay, sir. But, sir. You know? Can we do without a sir, please? My name is Alex. You can address me as Alex. You're my boss, so I owe you allegiance. I know. But I also need you to know that you're no longer an ordinary staff to me. You and I have worked for so many years. And I constantly find myself confiding in you more than I even do with my close friends and family. And that has um, also brought me to a point where I would 
really, really need to ask you for an important favor. It's simple. Don't get scared now. It's just um, more dedication to your office duties. I'm trying my best, sir. But you, you have to pull yourself together and get back to work. Your office needs you now more than anything. Yeah, I know. There comes a point in a man's life where when he would have to abandon all of that and ascertain the brightness of tomorrow. But it's it's alright, that's not the reason you're here. Um I invited you here. If you know, henceforth I would like you to to act as a company's manager by behalf of do that for me. Listen, I know it's a lot of work, but the truth is I have a lot of confidence in you and I trust your judgment. Represent me where it's necessary. I tend to all files. All right, to make this um, a lot easier for you, I am um, suggesting that you um, pick on any of our staff members as your new secretary. If you ask me, I'd, um, I'd advise you um, Appoint Mr. Wu for that um, position. He's been quite efficient. Oh my God. Oh, I'm short of words. What's so that? As soon as all of that is done, you give me a call and then set up a general company meeting. I'll make myself present and I'll address everyone. And then in furtherance, I, um, I will prepare you a check for an upfront uh, salary payment of six months. Thank you so much. Thank you. See, I promise I'm going to do everything I can to push the company forward. Thank you so much for believing in me. <laughs> I'm, I'm still in shock. Thank you. It's all right. instinct. Your father's blood runs in you. Oh no, I don't think so. He saw me as um, as a different entity when he was alive, so I don't agree with you. I am not talking about um, Alfred Adogo. He is not your real father. I don't understand you. The most important thing is that you heard me, Adendo. Uh, uh, please, my name is not Adendo. I was named Alex by my late father. What are you talking about? Let Mr. Alfred Adogu is not your father. And he has no right to give you any name. Who is my father? Ochiro Zoa is your father. When you get back home, ask your mother to tell you the whole truth, who Ochiro Zoa is. Like I told you before, whenever you want to see me, I am always here. Goodbye. That you gave me an impression that he loved me. 
and you and your husband want ahead to give Point me. Point of correction. Me and your father. Bear me that book, Arthur. Don't do this. Alfred Adogo has never been my father. Why are you lying to me? I trusted you, mother. I believed in you. I don't even know what to think anymore. I don't even know if you are my biological mother. I don't even know if I'm so son of the child from the restraints. Shut up! Just shut up! Don't you ever! I bind every spirit that has been inflicting you. I bind every disorganizing spirit in the name of Jesus! Stop it, mother. That is blasphemy. Let's speak. The only thing that you are binding right now is the truth. Alex. Who is Archery? Where can I find him for he is my biological father? You know what, Alex? I think you need a psychiatrist. You've got not. Stark raving mad I am, man. But I tell you what I need. Not a psychiatrist, but the truth. Tell me the truth, mother. And I will be yours forever, but deny me the truth. I would walk out of that door. And I promise you, I would never return to you ever again. Touch me! Please, please, I beg you. I beg you, please don't do this to me, please. God, where is all this coming from? Please! I'm your mother. And who is my father? I'm afraid the dog has always been your father. said a man is as good as dead if he can trace his roots. Since death has decided to take my loved ones leaving me behind, I have just decided to do this. I've heard how people use this. But one would have to gasp for breath before it eventually takes effect. Though it's hazardous, but might end up not meeting my loved ones when I get there. What can kill faster? What? What can kill faster than a gun? Yes, let me get it. Oh my God. Alex, what is the meaning of this? What is this? Do you have answers for me now? Yes, my child. But please, I want you to tell me how you come across that name. How I came across that name? It's immaterial right now. What is important, mother? Rings a bell. So please, we'll get talking. It was all your father's fault. I never knew he belongs to a secret cult. He made me commit a lot of sins. I got tired. 
losing sons and daughters. They were supposed to be your elder brothers and sisters. Three of them died a year after their death. I got tired of people telling me sorry. That was why I had to do it. Excuse me, mother, but please, need I remind you that this is not a time for sentiments. Because in all of your explanation, you're yet to answer my question. Ask again, mother, before I do something stupid. Who is Ojiri? He. He was a man contracted by your father to get me pregnant. What? Saints. None of his blood survived after one year of birth. to tell me the usual story. Alfred, I am sick and tired of hearing their story. Honestly, I am. Just look at me. I've lost it. I can't even cry anymore. See, no tears, nothing. I want to cry, but I can't. We just buried our third child. For how long will I keep burying my children, Alfred? For how long? This is our fifth year of marriage. Yet we have nothing to celebrate. Alfred. My children, they die one year after their birth. You're telling me to put myself together. Honestly, I can't do this anymore. I can't. Look, come on, Sudi. Come on. Listen. What is saying? You understand? What I'm saying is, we should have you. I mean, be strong. Do it for me. You're remembering so many things, and it's it's hurting me. And just put yourself together and do what you're supposed to do. Let's go, okay? Let's go and update to them, okay? Alright? Alfred, I just need to be left alone right now.
to the world. You don't like it? Don't you like them? I mean, if you don't like them, even the car, tell me, I can change them. Just say it, I'll change them once. They are beautiful. Honestly, they are very, very beautiful. But I can't appreciate them. I really wish I can. Because they only remind me of my sadness, my sorrows. They remind me of my problems, can't you see? It has become a norm for you that each time I lose my child, you come back one week after with very expensive gifts. Honestly, I'm losing it. I, I just can't. These gifts are meant to cheer you up, Francisca. These gifts are not meant to, to remind you of your sorrows. They're not meant to remind you of your problems. But they do. They do. That is all they do. Okay. Sweetheart. I understand what you're saying. Okay. I too understand you vividly well. Look, I'm sorry. All right. All I'm asking for is you, you, you put put up a good face. Try and cheer up. That's all. Please. Hey, baby. <laughs> Come with me, okay? All right. Come. Come on. Just come. Come on, babe. Come on. Hey. It's alright. Okay. Come with me. Hey. Just come with me. This is its elastic limit. What do I do? The pressure is not only from my wife, but from my family too. I wanted to know that I am not ignorant of the ugly shape of our problems. Yeah, it pains me as much as it gives you sleepless nights. And that's why I took a step. I went somewhere in quest for our problems. Where precisely? Well, I should say. Oh, you can call him a fortune teller. What? What for? Is it not worth it? I mean, is it not necessary to know the cause of our problem? I've told you uncountable times that these prophets of doom can only bring about setbacks to our lives. Rather, they can only cause us setbacks. That's where you caught it all wrong again. Because this one, this time, has every answer to our problems. Okay. So what did you say the solution to our problem is? Well... That's the biggest question I've been expecting from you. Is that someone took my name to somewhere? Knowing how bright my future will be, said 
that my blood is manipulated. That any woman who conceives for me that the child would die during or after birth. I told you. It is only God Almighty who has an answer or rather a solution to our problem. Francisca. So why don't we just draw near to him? Francisca, he pains my heart. He pains my heart that whenever I bring up a topic, you don't even try to digest the topic before you try to change that topic. So what have I done now? What have I said wrong now? How did I change the topic? Tell me. Okay. Okay. Tell me. What is it? If you won't listen to me, you shut your mouth and do the listening while I do the talking. Thank you. I'm listening. Look. I don't know how stupid this idea of mine is going to sound to you, but however it sounds, I wanted to keep it as our little secret. You're getting me all nervous. Say it out. We are. We have to get someone to do it for us. Get someone to do it. Get you pregnant. Oh, Alfred Adog, are you sure you're in control of your mind? I am absolutely in control of my mind. Definitely my mind. you are not. You're not in control of your mind. I, I mean, Alfred, can you just listen to yourself? Did you listen to what you just said? I mean, how could you go this low to such a level? That you are suggesting. Oh, God. Alfred, this is the highest level of immorality. Look, Francisca, I expected these reactions from you. Do not overreact. We have to do something. We have to do it. No, I won't do it. I will never, ever do it. Now if you don't mind, excuse me. You finished doing it, Francisco. So I still see our problems lying in my dream world. This is exactly the reason I said we should draw closer to God. We need to draw closer to Him and confine in Him. And He will surely meet us at the point of our need. He will see us through and grant us our heart desire. When, Francisca? When will his fullness of time come? Is it when we are dead and gone without sons and daughters to carry on for our future generations? My God is not dead. He is alive. He said in his word that he shall fight my battle and I shall hold my peace. Oh, there you go again, Francisca. There you go again. Let me ask you. Where was he when you lost your first child? The second and the third one. Hmm? Francisca, you see why you should let God's issue aside? 
and concentrate and on how concentrate to help on how us. After all, God After himself all, said in God his word, himself said in that his word, heaven helps that those heaven who helps help those themselves. Who help themselves. Help themselves. Whatever, Jesus. whatever, Alfred, but I will not do what you ask. I will not me. do what you ask of me, because that is because sin. that is sin for humanity. Before and humanity, God himself. Oh, and God himself. There you go oh, again. There you go again. Francisca on Francisca daily basis, on daily basis with sin with God, sin against humanity. God and humanity. So it's no more so a it's new no thing. more a new thing. Do you know what is important? Do you know what is important? That we have children that we have who children will to God will move move to God. 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 Let's go to the dining room for this ready. Your breakfast is ready. I'm sorry, I have an important appointment to catch up with. No, Alfred, you're going nowhere. What has come over you? These days you keep late nights. And when you return, you come back drunk. My food that you've always cherished. 
has now turned to poison. Alfred, we really need to talk. Francisca. Leave my way. No. We must talk. to join me in prayers. <sighs> Darling, come let's pray. My pastor said we need to pray and fast for three days. That he saw some occultic powers manipulating us. Come darling. Come let's pray together. So we can put our enemies to shame. Darling. You know what, what and how it pains me, oh God. You know everything, you know my heart desires, oh God. You are the God that said that whatsoever we want of thee, that we should just bring it forth to thee in prayers and with a faith at this, as little as a mustard seed that you will answer us. Therefore, Lord, at this point in time, you already know, I am sure that you already know what my problem is. I sprinkle this holy water in the four corners of this room. Lord, take on truth as I destroy and I nullify every occultic power, every occultic manipulations in my life. Every occultic woman, every occultic man manipulating my marriage, manipulating my giving birth, manipulating the life of my children. I destroy them right now in the name of Jesus. I destroy, I nullify every agent of darkness, every occultic man, every occultic human being manipulating my marriage, manipulating my life. I destroy it right now. I destroy into the lake of fire in the name of Enough. Jesus. I destroy it. Enough I of this destroy. madness. Oh God, darling, join me in prayers. Come, let's pray together so that we can pull down and put to shame all our enemies. Francisca, I can no longer tolerate this madness of yours in this house. I'm not mad, though. I'm not mad. I'm just pouring my heart to God in prayers, just like Hannah. Listen, ever since I got married to you, I have never laid a finger on you. Should you force me to? I will not only do that, but have you thrown to the boys' quarter if by any means I come back to this house the next time and find you engaging yourself into any activity of this nature. Darling, you're welcome. I've decided to do it. What was that you just said? I said I will do it. 
That's the spirit. That's my wife. On the condition that I'll be the one to get the person. No, Francisca. Look. Let's be professional here. Meaning what? Meaning we have some contractors who are professionals about it. All you need to do is beat them and they'll walk away. What if the person affects me? Oh. Come on, sweetie. Don't you trust what I can do? There'll be nothing like that. Look, before anything happens between both of you, a doctor must ascertain his fitness. Trust me. Alfred, God knows I'm only doing this just to please you. I pray it doesn't have a reverse effect. Oh, come on. Francisca, you shouldn't go there. I know you're doing it to please me, to please our family. And trust me, nothing of that nature will show his face. Okay? Come on, baby, let me cheer you up a bit. You know it. Come on. Why don't you just give me a little smile? Just push it up. Fifty percent up front and fifty percent after the job is done. That is not a problem actually. And now that we have an understanding, I'll be expecting you at the next clinic tomorrow for medical checkup. I don't understand. Is the medical checkup to ascertain my fitness or what? Actually. I have to do this so as to convince my wife that you're medically sound. <laughs> All right then. So what time? That's at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. you say? Good. Remember, it's the last clinic. I'll be there. Excuse me.
what can be more shameful watching another man sleep with your wife right under your nose Just praise the last sacrifice to have children that can call me father. I mean, be gentle on her. She, she's not good at your style. But that's the only way to make a barren woman pregnant. My kid, you with my style. I never told you that my wife is barren. <laughs> then if she's not barren, why did you contract me? Look, I'll show you what's up. All I'm saying is that you take it easy on her. Be gentle on her. That, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Poor virgin. So can you just leave and continue from where I start? Go now. I wasn't expecting you in my house. I mean, your usual visit to my house. That is because the unusual has happened in your house. Secret Alfred, it's unlike you to do anything without my consultation. Your Lordship, please, please temper justice with mercy. I need children I can call my own. I'm tired of losing them. But that was what you promised the Brotherhood. That Kankura should take your children and give you money. Your Lordship, who in my conditions then will not pledge anything, just as to be free from the shackles of poverty. Your Lordship, I need children I can call my own now. <laughs> Smart of you. Anyway, congratulations. Right now, a conception is going on in your wife's system as we speak. But as long as you pay that young man with the money given to you by Kampura, the child will be as good as your blood. Meaning the child will die? If the child must live, then you should not give that young man any money given to you by Kampura. Do not give that young man any money given to you by Kampura. Good and set to go. Um, Ocheri, you're due to go. Yeah. So what next? The pap payment, of course. And the balance in four weeks' time when it's confirmed that your wife is pregnant. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, Ocheri, 
you have to do me a favor. You see, I, I, I forgot my checkbook at the office. And right now, I cannot make up cash in the house. Can you come back like in the evening? I'll give you your money. But, but come on now. Come on, Mr. Alfred. You know this is not good for the business. We all agree to this now. Come on. Look, I know. I know. See, from now until 7 p.m. 7 p.m. the evening, you come. I prepare your check down. Okay? Mr. Alfred. Yeah, 7 p.m. Return, isn't it? It's obvious he's avoiding me and his phones are switched off. This is not fair. We had an agreement half before and half after. But as I speak this minute, nothing. And I mean nothing has been given to me. You know what? Tell your husband. And I repeat, tell your husband that I need that money before today runs out. Because I need to travel first thing tomorrow morning. lied to me. He told me that the boat have settled.
Francis Khan. Sweetheart. 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 Don't tell me you're not happy about the news of the pregnancy. I expected you to be very happy. I mean, very happy that you're pregnant. Look, sweet, you, you're, you're killing me. Be happy that you're pregnant, please. How do you expect her to be happy? Not even you will be happy if you don't meet to our agreement. the meaning of this your unannounced visit to my house. I heard everything. She's pregnant and obviously for me. And who told you that? Why are you doing this? Is this the kind of person you are? Oh, Chiri. Isn't it enough that you enjoyed my wife? You made her mourn under your muscles, right in my house under my nose and you want me to pay you huh pay you for giving you enjoyment is it you know what i have seen and read about people like you i am not ignorant to that but let me warn you nobody and I repeat, nobody ever underestimates any descendant of Okugu. I am Ochiri Ozoa, the only son of Adunwaiji Okugu. And I am sacred, Alfred, a humble servant of the great Kakura. the Grand Master. So you get that into your empty skull. You know what? I'll give you three days. Three days to pay me everything you owe me. Else. Else what? Hmm? How dare you? How dare you come into my house to threaten me. Get out. Get out now. Give you three days. Three days. It's no longer funny, Alfred. What is going on? Why haven't you paid this man? Alfred, please pay this young man so that he will go far away as possible from us. I, can, I can't stand the sight of him. Francisca, it's not as though I don't want to pay him. But what? 
But what, Alfred? Just tell me, how much is it? Tell me, how much is it that you're finding it so difficult to pay him? Because I will pay him. You won't do that. Oh, watch me do it. Look, Francisca. Secret Alfred, what is this worry written all over your face? Every man can look at you and see. A lot, sir. Ever since I joined the Kakuras, I have known no worry. I have lived to worry for nothing. Not until I embarked on the journey of contracting archery to impregnate my wife. You know the rest. Why worriest thou, Secret Alfred, when you have remedies? I know not remedy your lordship. And that's why I have come to you, the solution preferrer of the Kankuras. My worries increased last night when my wife threatened to pay archery herself. And she has also refused traveling abroad, not until she sees that Archery's money is paid. Go home, Secret Alfred. Prepare a check for the exact amount you promised the young man. Make sure your wife sees this check. Then take a trip to your secret room. Call his name three times and say whatever you wish of him. After an hour, he receives the check. What happens next, your lordship? Call him to die. Tell him you are ready to pay him all his money by tomorrow. Remember, you must really want to give him the check in the presence of your wife. Now go. Your lordship. I want you to take it and go as far as your legs can carry you. You know what that means? I don't know you, and you don't know me either. Well, I hope this is real because I suspect a foul play. All the same, thank you. I mean, if I should. I say, who are you? And what do you want from me? I remain in Zewi, the volatile killer of Ikukagu. I have come to warn you that there will be peace on this planet if only men mind their territory. How dare you come to my apartment to threaten me? How dare you? Just because it rained the day the little chick was hatched does not make it a fish. It is the duty of power and power holders like Ikuku Hago to tell the little children, conquerors, not to swim. Because if they do, they will be drowned. Admonish him to present that child to Ikuku Hago, or he will die. Though the ocean is bigger than the river. Yes, the river has killed more men than the ocean. He is protected by Kankura. The sacred bed of the Northern Sea. <laughs> Protected, you said. Then let the river stand, because soon the ocean will come for visit. How I wish the river prepares all her stories to tell when the ocean comes for visit. Thank 
Alfred, Alfred. Why is your heart heavy? I am no longer comfortable. The pressure is much for me. This ugly beast keeps on appearing to me, saying I must present the child to him. You shall do no such thing, Second Alfred. Where lies your fate in Kankura? Remember, he that dwells in the sacred place of Kankura shall, shall abide, abide under the shadow of his protection. protection. More so shall fear no foe. Take courage. Go and pick up your fate wherever you must have dropped it. Now you've mentioned this Ochiri name for the second time. Who is here and in what way have you offended him? Say something. Spirit help me. 
this is not just a sin against God, but a sin against humanity as well. You have to pray. Pray for me in particular. For God to give me the wisdom to handle this case. Tomorrow I want you to fast and pray from 6 to 6. I will return in the evening for us to round it off. We are going to have a vigil for this family tomorrow. But for now, I have to take my leave. 